to many people I work with in sales. I work with a lot of people in sales. I do a lot of work in you know corporate Toronto too. And there's a week before this big sales pitch, or when their quarter's coming up, they start working it up in their mind. There's nothing wrong with prepping your mind with what might happen, but staying in there for the next week or so is a, a complete waste of energy in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So before they go into a big call, take three minutes and recognize, hey, right now I'm a little fearful. Right now I'm a little worried. Right now I'm a little amped up. And do a little check-in of simply what I say to people, and it's on my website as well, mindfulmike.ca, all, all for free. You go on, you do a physical, emotional, mental check-in. What does that look like? Why well, go, let's say you and I have this big meeting. I go in, I notice that I'm physically feeling a little exhausted. So I'm just going to note that. Mm -hmm. I do another brief scan. What am I feeling right now emotionally? Okay, right now emotionally I feel a little anxious. What does that feel like? I can feel my chest, my heart maybe up a little bit. And then I go mentally, my mind is going to the future. You noticing that isn't going to change that experience. What it's going to do is not going to make it worse. You know, it's something we call radical acceptance. So starting with your breath and simply just noticing in this moment, you are here and your mind is going to the past mm -hmm. or to the future. But I think mm -hmm. most people that we work with, very future oriented. Yeah, for sure. Right. You notice that as a future thought and then you come back. Why is that important? After you leave the bench or the meditation or wherever you're doing it, if you do this enough, you can use it in life. 